Welcome back, my name is Andrew, and today we're doing a quick video on Wireshark. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about how do we find open ports on a target machine. So there's a technique that I use that makes things really fast. Let's dig right in. I have a Kali machine, and I've got a Metasploitable machine, and I've got them on their own private network. Now what I've done here is that I've actually done a, a stealth scan from Kali to Metasploitable, what I've also done is I've actually run the scan as a T1, which is very, very, very slow, okay? This whole scan maybe took about half an hour. And I don't even think I actually finished the scan because I got bored and I, and I canceled the scan. But it doesn't matter because I was able, still able to do a port scan successfully and have it somewhere in this capture. I actually ran uh, YouTube videos uh, in the background so that there's additional traffic so that we can filter quickly through a ton of packets. Okay, first things first, every time I go into a new capture, I'm gonna try to get a good idea of who are the players in this story. Statistics, and I go down to endpoints. Go and sort through the addresses, and take a quick peek at the private addresses. See that I have 192.168.1 network. The three-way handshake is really important when we think about port scanning. I send a SYN packet to a port, it responds with a SYN ACK, and then I respond back with an ACK, establishing that connection. Okay, if I know that the target machine ends with a 1.77, let's go and search for that. IP source equals 192.168.1.77. I'm going to do two equals there goes green, we're good to go. Let's hit enter. My scanning machine sent a SYN packet to a port on 1.77. If that port is open, it's going to respond with a SYN ACK packet that comes back to the original sender, showing us that that port is in fact open. Add the last piece to this filter and TCP flags equal equals 0x12. This is hexadecimal for SYNAC. Let's hit enter and see what happens. Just to prove the point a little bit further, let's click on one of these packets and we're going to open up the display window here. Let's take a look inside the TCP header. Let's come on down to our flags and we can see right here that we are dealing with a hex of 12. If you're curious about using hex in your Wireshark filtering, take a look at this video that I made. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That'd be great. And we'll talk to you soon.